He can't keep getting away with it! He can't keep getting away with it! Well, that was very disappointing. In my latest movie haul, I showed off Lucky Sky Diamond. It's considered by the underground horror community to be the unofficial release in the guinea pig series from Japan. The reasoning behind why people consider this the unofficial release, it draws similarities to these films with its gore, torture aspects and dark themes. And I do love the guinea pig films, don't get me wrong, for its use of extreme gore and each movie being different in tone. Whether we see plain old torture in the first two entries, or the dark humour of He Never Dies. But Lucky Sky Diamond, in all honesty, barely scratched the itch of any of these films mentioned. And why is that? Well, I'm gonna tell you, that's why. Lucky Sky Diamond, or LSD, takes place in a filthy laboratory with a woman who wakes up suffering from horrendous hallucinations. Two doctors run this laboratory from hell and terrorise the woman by performing an operation on her brain. The actual process is pretty disturbing, to be honest. They pick a piece out of the back of her skull and by prodding this area, it causes her to have uncontrollable spasms and in one instance, makes her laugh out loud. Presumably they're tampering with the amygdala part of the brain. Yes, yeah, sorry, I did have to Google that word because, well, you know, I failed science. And the head surgeon also gets head whilst doing this procedure. Nice. Why? I don't know. I guess brain surgery must be pretty boring or something. It's utterly bizarre. After the operation is successful, the woman is distraught in clear signs of pain and confusion. The doctors wrestle her to a bed and tie her down. They play some headphones on her whilst they play some static white noise and begin to stab her? Look, I know this is a torture porn-esque movie, but this is where I had to say to myself, what was the point in this experiment in the first place if you're just going to outright randomly stab her? She's going to die and you're not going to get much of a result out of her. It's pointless. The scene ends leaving the woman covered in her own blood. The doctors are nowhere to be seen. She attempts to make her escape, but she comes face to face with a woman dressed in white and a man dressed in a... I'm so sorry. I've tried to record this five times. And a man dressed in a cardboard box. Oh my god. Honestly, couldn't they think of something a bit more freakier? To be honest, this is probably where they finally run out of budget. The woman does kill the two doctors in their awful Halloween costumes, crawls under the bed, the one that she was mutilated on, and crawls up into a ball. And then it just... well... ends. In my opinion, this film was bad. It's poorly produced, but there are some positives to this and I'll get onto those in a minute, but for the meantime, let's talk about the negatives. The story is also odd with how the two doctors conduct an experiment on the poor subject, but just end up stabbing her randomly. And don't get me started on those fucking costumes. What on earth were they thinking with that cardboard box idea? It's completely out of place and it's just cheap. It looks really fucking cheap. The music is completely out of place too, with the setting of this film, and it makes it look very goofy. And just the random bits where the two doctors have a dance during the operation, I just found it completely unnecessary. Look, I understand what they're going for, having bits where the two are, you know, played off as delusional and playing around with the trippy idea, but it's poorly executed. But what Lucky Skyman does excel with is its special effects. The exposed brain and blood looks downright disgusting, and it was pretty impressive and a bit gross. And also the leading actress who played the unfortunate test subject, her performance was the best in the entire film. It downright had me disturbed after her brain procedure, as she was able to convey so many emotions without really doing much at all. I could feel she was confused, scared, and in pain, as if someone has just done something to her head without her consent. So, yeah, I did not really like this film, but the redeeming factor is it's under an hour long, so it's bearable. I could understand how people would consider this to be an entry in the guinea pig series, with its shot on video look and the dark and disturbing subject matter, but I can understand why nobody would touch this with a 50 foot barge pole and was only released in Japan. It's just not very good. You were able to buy a bootleg copy on twistedanger.com, but sadly that webpage is either active or not, so it's a crapshoot. But with my copy, I paid over £40 for it and it's not worth that. However, it is available on YouTube in full if you want to watch it. There's a link in the description if you want to kill some time. <laughs> Sensational. 
So, yeah, Lucky Sky Diamond has all the ideas to be this really sort of disturbing and messed up little short film, but sadly fails on delivering something convincing and disturbing to a, you know, a certain degree. Basically, yeah, it's shit. Bye.